In this video, we're going to show you how to import a plot plan from a PDF document. Before we import this, what we need to do is open up the PDF file and determine which type of document it is. And that will determine which method we're going to use to import it. Okay, so let's go to our first PDF file. And this file was obviously created in a CAD program and it was printed and then scanned back into PDF. So it's actually an image uh, rather than a, a CAD file. And the way that we can determine whether it's an image or a CAD file is we can zoom in on it and when we zoom in you'll notice that the lines they start to appear a little bit fuzzy or uh, in some cases jagged and we'll have a lot of extra uh, little specks in here uh, also, if we try to just click on the drawing, it will turn the entire drawing blue. So that means that this is an image, and it's not going to import through method number two. So we're going to use method number one to import this one. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up another file. Okay, now this is a PDF document that was created in a CAD program and saved directly from that CAD into PDF. And when it does that, it brings over uh, certain uh, what's called vector graphics information which we can use and convert this back into CAD if it was saved in that fashion. Now the way that we can determine whether it was uh, saved directly from CAD or not, we can go ahead and zoom in and you'll notice when we zoom in that the lines here are very clean and crisp okay and I don't have any uh, jagged lines here now I do have a, a little bit of a, a jagged line here on this curve but uh, if we if we look at the line itself it's going to be a nice straight line also what we can do is if we if we click on the drawing it's not going to highlight it in blue like the other drawing did okay something else we can do here is we can just drag our mouse over uh, text here and we can actually highlight text on here alright so this was saved directly from a CAD program alright let's go ahead and close both of those out now the first method that we're going to use is from the planner startup menu I'm going to select scale plot plan and click OK alright now I'm going to browse out to my desktop and I'll select open I'll click next Okay, I need to go ahead and put the approximate height and width of the lot. Okay, I'm going to put 2,000 by 2,000, and I want that to be landscape. Okay, as soon as we click on the Finish button, we need to calibrate the drawing. So I'm going to click Finish here. Now I need a known measurement in order to calibrate this drawing. Let's go ahead and scroll in. Okay, now the known measurement that I have is 1,323 square linear feet from the corner here. So what I'm going to do is click here, okay, and I'm going to stretch a line down to here and click there, and it automatically asks me what that line represents. So I put in 1323 and click OK. Okay, so it has now scaled it. So according to Planner, I, I should be able to uh, measure this line and it should come out to something relatively close to that. So I'll go to Inquire and Distance. Let's go ahead and click here and then click here. Okay, so I'm, I'm very, very close to that distance. Alright, so the object here, when we bring in a PDF document that was a scanned image, is I'm just going to use this as a template. I'll come in and I'll trace out my property lines if I have foundation lines or sidewalks or uh, driveways. I'll go ahead and trace those out. And Once I get those traced out, we'll go ahead and get rid of the original plot plan so that we have a nice clean page. And the way that we do that is go to the draw menu, plot plan, and delete plot plan. And then that removes the plot plan and what would be left is the items that I had drawn in. Alright, now let's go ahead and show you method number two. Now on method number two, this is where we have a file that was saved directly from a CAD program. I'm going to go to the file menu and select open. Okay, now the files of type here is looking for an LNF, so I want to change that to a PDF document. Okay. 
and I'll go out to my desktop and I'll open Compton Office Project. It asks for the linear scale factor. In most cases, we need to select feet here. And I'll click OK. Okay, so here's my PDF imported document. Now, you'll notice when we look at this that the, the lines are very clean and crisp when it brings those in. Also, with this method, you'll notice that if I want to, I can select lines and delete the lines out that I don't want. Uh, if I want to do just a, a parking lot area here, we could, we could go in and delete out the rest of this. Um, so uh, you, you don't have to redraw everything when you, when you bring it in and you're able to bring it in in this method. Now, you'll notice that it is uh, a little bit out of scale. Now, this line here, it represents a 70-foot line, but it looks to be around 23 to 24 feet. So let's go ahead and calibrate that, and we'll select, we'll go ahead and press Control-A on the keyboard to select all. And then I'll go up to the Edit menu, and go to Transform, and Scale Selection. All right, now this is a good part to uh, use my endpoint snap. So I'm going to go up and select my endpoint snap. All right, and that allows me to snap directly to the endpoint of that line. Okay, and I'll stretch a line down to this point. Click there. Okay, I'll go ahead and type in 70 for 70 feet and click OK. All right, so now when I go to measure this line, let's go up to Inquire and Distance. Okay, it's exactly 70 feet. All right, I'll go ahead and close that. Now, since it blew it up off the page, I'm just going to click Auto Scale Drawing, and that fits it back to the page. All right, now I could go ahead and start landscaping on this right away. I don't have to trace out the things uh, in here like we did on the previous one because we're going to have a pretty clean document uh, to work with. So on a project like this, it might save me a couple hours of work if I can bring this in uh, and start placing uh, my plant material on here right away rather than have to go in and trace out everything that's on this drawing. Okay, so uh, I would encourage you to uh, practice with this and uh, I, I think that you'll see a big benefit uh, using the PDF import.